I'm Curtis Bowdy, and this is the scope of science. So if you take a motor and attach it to a battery, you'll be so surprised to find that the motor spins. Wow. But not, you probably won't actually be surprised. But if you take a light bulb or an LED and attach it to that same motor in a circuit, it actually does light up that light bulb when you spin the motor. Now, that's pretty crazy. Uh, it means that the motor is somehow acting as an electric generator, and indeed it is. All electric generators actually function on that same principle. So to figure out how that's possible, let's make a motor. Let's take a closer look. So I've taken a battery, a screw, a neodymium magnet, and some copper wire, and I've just completed a circuit using those components. So I have electricity flowing from the battery through the copper wire to the magnet through the screw and back to the battery. That actually allows for the magnet to spin. And all motors and generators work on this same principle. It's actually how we generate all electricity and it's how all electric motors work. And it's from this principle called electromagnetism. And so Electricity is the flow of electrons, and magnetism is a field generated by the position of electrons and their charges. Now, electromagnetism is, it basically means that electricity and magnetism are two sides of the same coin. It's the reason why a motor can be a generator and vice versa. It's one of the four fundamental forces of nature. If you've liked this video, I hope you consider liking this video. You can click here to subscribe if you would like to see more from the scope of science, and thank you for watching.